Hey, what's up? My name is Mark and welcome to another product review. So today I'm going to show you uh, the new Base Us uh, screen hanging light. I've been working from home almost a year now and uh, I needed additional light in my workstation. Uh, as you all know, my keyboard isn't RGB or isn't backlit, uh, at least my, uh, my full-size keyboard. Uh, I did review a keyboard, uh, an RGB keyboard, uh, way back, uh, a few weeks back, uh, but it was small and it wasn't really for me. So I needed to uh, look for other solutions in terms of how to put additional light in my workstation. So uh, it's small, so I needed something that uh, isn't really occupying too much space and that it's uh, convenient enough to only light up uh, the work the work area, at least my keyboard, my mouse, and stuff. So I found a, a perfect solution, uh, an almost perfect one. It's a base us screen hanging light. So uh, I'll show you, I'll unbox this and show you how to set it up and what it looks like. Here's the base us iWalk series USB stepless dimming screen bar or hanging light uh, uh, unboxing version. So this came straight from uh, Lazada. So I bought it for, uh, I believe it was uh, 1,000 including shipping. So it depends, uh, it ranges from uh, 1,000 to 1,500. Some sell it for 1,700 uh, depending on the version and the promos you have. So I had a couple of coupons and vouchers so I had this uh, I bought it a total of 720 using uh, a few vouchers mm, wow. it's nicely packed it's from a local seller uh, I'll show the link down below so here you go wow pretty nice so it's iWalk series uh, screen uh, hanging light, uh, USB uh, stepless dimming. So this is the fighting version. Okay. Oh, nicely packed. The box is pretty big. Mm, very nice. has your USB cable so I think it's a USB-C and USB-A type there it's a standard cable pretty long too okay that's nice let's put it here and then you have the lamp itself oh it's a bit heavy pretty nice So where is it? Here we go. Ah, very nice. Very nice. This is my, the first uh, screen bar uh, light uh, I have. Pretty nice. Uh, this is all LED, uh, LED. So it's made out of uh, aluminum alloy. So uh, where's my scissors? So yeah, here. So it's pretty nice. Aluminum arm. This is perfect if you have a small table. And like mine, if you don't have any big lamps, uh, if you can't put a, a lamp on, on your desk and you want to focus uh, light on your, uh, your work area. So let's see how long this is. So, so from here to the end, it's around 47, uh, 46 centimeters. Uh, 47 and a half uh, I mean 46 and a half centimeters so it's around 47 let's play it safe and then our, that's around 18 inches uh, in a spare change and it's pretty heavy it's pretty nice now it has a, a different mechanism uh, over here where you hang it it's pretty tough 
Oh, the, the mechanism is pretty tight. So, uh, uh, this is around 500 grams, uh, according to the website, and has uh, 5 watts. So, there are two versions uh, of this light, uh, the youth version and the fighting version. So, I have the fighting version. Uh, the main difference is the controls. Uh, the youth, uh, youth version has th three touch-sensitive buttons uh, over here. So it has three touch sensitive but uh, buttons while this one has a knob. And then the power button is uh, here. So uh, can you see it? So uh, the youth version has uh, touch sensitive ones. You can see it here. Uh, this one has a clean look. That's why uh, this is the one I chose. So and the, lo uh, the hanging mechanism uh, for the youth version is different. So uh, if uh, this doesn't have any clips, so you don't have to worry about uh, putting a clip on your uh, monitor. So the way you hang it is you just uh, put it in, on top of your monitor and then uh, gravity will take. That's why it's a little bit heavy. So uh, another thing is the difference uh, between the two versions is that uh, uh, how you hang it, uh, it's different. So if you have a thicker monitor, uh, I, I suggest you go with the fighting version because this can uh, be adjusted uh, wider than the youth version. Okay, and I specifically like the knob. Now I finished installing it in my computer. Uh, as you can see, it's on uh, top of my monitor. So it's not clip or anything. So it's just uh, uh, it's it's just laying there. It's hanging. Uh, it's pretty heavy. That's why uh, if you put it there, uh, it shouldn't move. And then there's back support. So uh, if you keep moving it around, it will just follow because it's a bit heavy. And as you can see, uh, it's uh, pretty good. It looks pretty nice. So in order to turn it on we press here and there you go so you can see uh, your work area is already lit up and you can adjust it uh, one thing that I noticed is you can see that this portion is light uh, lighted up and but there's no glare there's no actual glare except uh, if I hold it uh, there is a reflection uh, but there's no actual glare but I did realize that uh, I can see dust uh, that uh, I haven't, uh, I don't usually see it because the, the light's coming from the monitor. Uh, now that uh, another source of light comes in, I see that my monitor is dusty. So if, if, if it has uh, stains maybe or uh, dust on top, uh, it might reflect the light and you'll see it uh, like, uh, like this. So right now, uh, this is the... Uh, I think this is the medium setting and you can see the uh, your keyboard and the rest of your desk so uh, this is the warm light and then the, this is the mixed and let's go back to the white one okay and then by turning the knob you can adjust the brightness so that's the I think that's the least one and then this is the brightest there so it's really bright and uh, you can also adjust this the bar uh, facing towards you or towards the monitor so if I adjust it towards uh, the user uh, it's a bit hard uh, because it has a tight uh, tight mechanism so you will be able to see uh, the light that might hit your eyes so uh, it's better if you uh, adjust it towards the monitor uh, so because this is relatively new there uh, we can still see it so there so it won't really bother uh, the monitor much uh, let's see if uh, what it looks like in the dark so hey Google turn off the lights 
So this is what it looks like. So let's adjust it to the medium dim. There we go. And then uh, if it if you continue to see uh, the light here, if it still bothers you, you face it towards, continue facing it towards the monitor. But it will also uh, darken this part. So you need to balance it out. Okay. And then let's try. Uh, it doesn't really bother uh, uh, the, the, the monitor itself. So... Uh, it does, uh, if I do see a black screen, maybe uh, if you're watching a very dark film, maybe uh, you might see the dust particles uh, that's reflecting. Uh, I think that's one uh, issue that I can see. But if you have a clean monitor, uh, it shouldn't bother you. Uh, mine is a matte, mon uh, a matte screen. It's not really the glossy one. Uh, so I'm not sure how it will react to glossy screens. Uh, and then my keyboard is al has also a glossy part. Uh, sometimes uh, when I tried it earlier, uh, it sometimes hits that and reflects, my, uh, reflects it. So it might hurt my eyes a bit. So I just need to adjust it or adjust it here. So here's the lamp up close. So if you can see, it clamps uh, at the back. Uh, not really clamp, but it supports it. And then my USB goes directly to my laptop. Okay, so right now my system is turned off. Uh, everything's turned off. Uh, but my laptop has a USB always on feature. So I attach the lamp on my USB always on. And since it has batteries in it, uh, it should turn on even without turning on my laptop. So, and it does. So it's low powered, it's five watts. That's why uh, my always on USB uh, port can still power it. So all the features are still there. Uh, the brightness level, uh, as you can see, uh, my monitor is pretty dusty. So, then the warm light, and the next one. So like what I said earlier, uh, I've been using this for a week and it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, I really like it. It doesn't flash. Uh, it doesn't affect my eyes. Uh, it does keep me awake uh, because the light is pretty good. Uh, doesn't bother me with gamings, but uh, it's almost perfect. Uh, I think there are things that they can improve on. Maybe uh, it, this has uh, weight to it. And this is uh, the, the weight that's, uh, that's been hanging at the back of your monitor. Maybe they could probably put uh, a small uh, power bank here so that you can uh, probably uh, have that as a weight. And then at the same time, power the, uh, the lamp when, uh, whenever maybe it's turned off. If you don't have an always on USB, it's helpful. Uh, mine has, so uh, it doesn't really bother me. And then what's particularly uh, something that I, I think uh, Bezos can upgrade is uh, the knob. Uh, it's pretty good, but it turns uh, 360 degrees. It, it, it's unlimited turn. Uh, but the, the dimming is uh, has only a limit. So you need to turn it again uh, multiple times. You don't know if it's the minimum or the maximum already. Uh, not until you see the light uh, isn't changing anymore. So they probably need to put limits there. And then uh, that's the added feature that it can be the memory in terms of what type of dimming uh, you've set up for your, for your lamp. Because uh, right now, if it's plugged in, it, if, if it has power, it will remember uh, your settings, uh, what light, what dimming, uh, uh, dimming factor. But if you turn it off and it doesn't have power anymore, and then by default, it goes to the default uh, light uh, sort uh, type of light in the the source of dimming okay so if if it has a limit if it if has uh, if the switch has uh, maybe a dial to it then it, it that's the rem memory itself and then at least you know how many how many notches you need to uh, to put in there uh, but right now it's smooth 
Uh, it's it's good. It's smooth, uh, but you need to dial it back again every time you it doesn't it loses power. So besides that, uh, this is good. It's perfect for for my workstation. Doesn't bother my eyes or for gaming, uh, and uh, it's pretty good price too. So uh, if if you need a light that you still need space, uh, buy this one and you can uh, leave it hanging on your monitor. So if you have questions or probably uh, other concerns or uh, just wanted to talk about the light, uh, feel free to comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe.